what is up everyone welcome and or welcome back to my channel if you're new welcome thank you so much for stopping by my name is mara for those of you that do not know if you don't know we like to go hair here on this channel so definitely make sure you subscribe today we're going to be talking about buying a designer item if this is your first time and you are definitely interested in buying a designer piece or item or shoes or clothing whatever the case may be definitely stick around definitely be sure to subscribe hit the thumbs up and we're just going to get right into this video okay so like i said in the intro we're definitely going to be focusing on buying your first designer piece what to do how to do it and exactly what to look for when you are purchasing your first designer piece first off i know this video was supposed to go up almost two months ago i know i announced that i wanted to do like a luxury goods purchasing series type of thing on my channel but i've just been like so sidetracked i'm so sorry i've been so sidetracked with everything that's happening with my business and work so yeah we are finally here, but I actually recorded it two months ago. I actually recorded it when I said I was going to upload it. I recorded it. I did not like the way that I looked because I was just like so washed out and it, it was a no for me, okay? So I'm going to be redoing it again and I definitely do hope that you guys like it and that you do like take away some key points from it. First things first is when you are looking for your designer item that you want to buy, you need to know exactly what it is that you want to buy. So for example, got a, got an example. So we have the Christian Louboutin So Kate These are the black pad leather, 120 millimeters. If you don't know, that is about four and a half or four inches. Um, for the heel height, it has the stiletto heel, it has the red bottoms, I have mine protected. If you guys want to see that in another video, I can definitely do so, but I protect all of my soles. I don't wear them unless I protect them first, but pretty much this is what the shoe looks like, okay? So this is what we're going to be focusing on today, our example shoe. Now that we have the product that we know that we want to buy or something that we're interested in. So for me, when I'm interested in buying something that has a higher price point, I am definitely looking into reviews. So reviews, it is optional, but I feel like in terms of shoes or clothing or accessories like handbags, it's definitely helpful to read reviews because with reviews, you can definitely learn a lot more than what a merchant or a store has written in their description. For example, I don't know, Neiman Marcus can put that these run true to size i'm just using that as an example i don't for sure know if they have it runs true to size they're a true to size italian designer shoe reading reviews it will actually let you know if that description is correct if it's accurate or if it's not accurate so for me in u.s sizes i'm a six and a half in italian sizes i'm always a 37. so for these these are a 37 these fit me a size italian six and a half does not fit a seven and a half does not work that's way too big so my true italian size is always a half size up than my u.s size so me reading the reviews if i did not know that information i can pretty much base my judgment off of that because people will tell you these don't run true to size you need to size up you need to size up a whole size a half size that's pretty much where the reviews come in also people they do like to get descriptive so if their feet is a little bit more narrower like mine i have real bony feet okay as opposed to someone who has a wider foot if you have a more narrow foot you can probably use a half size if you're someone who has a wider foot you may want to try going up a whole size or you may want to just try a different style altogether because these just may not work for you. So pretty much when you read reviews, that is what that information is going to tell you. How to base your decision because generally the information that is on a brand's site or a store site, it's not going to tell you if you have a narrow foot, go up a half size. If you have a wide foot, go up a whole size or vice versa. They're not going to tell you that. They're going to tell you it's an Italian designer, which Christian Louboutin it is an Italian designer. They're going to tell you that it runs true to size or if it runs small or if it runs big. They're not going to tell you anything in between and that's where you pretty much have to do your own searching for that information if you're not able to try it on in stores and you're purchasing online. The third thing that I typically do when I'm buying a designer item is I will do a little research. So what I mean by research, I will look at all of the different retailers that are out there that I'm able to buy these shoes online. I never go in stores to buy shoes because I feel like 
I don't know, the workers, they just they just hover over you. I don't have time for that. I don't want to deal with that. So I would rather buy my stuff online. So if they're not sold out during the time, I know for a fact that Nordstrom, Neiman Marcus, Barney's, Saks Fifth Avenue, and there's other retailers aside from the actual Christian Louboutin website that also carry these shoes. So that's what I mean by looking at the different retailers. Once you look at those different retailers, you kind of just want to compare the prices okay because most of the retailers they will have the exact same price i purchased my first pair of designer shoes back in 2015 a few months after i graduated from high school and i got mine from neiman marcus at that time they were priced for 675 dollars there was no taxes there was nothing else aside from the unit price of 675 as of right now i believe that all of the socates um, as well as the other similar style shoes they did increase to 725 they increased by $50 so I kind of got lucky with that one okay because right after I bought them they increased so now that you have all these stores that you know sell the shoe you just want to look and compare to see if the prices are all going to be similar and if there's going to be that one store that offers the shoe at a cheaper price just because for example Neiman Marcus has some price for $7.25 doesn't mean that Saks Fifth Avenue is going to have them priced for $7.25 and why would you want to pay a higher price for a shoe when you can just go to this retailer and get it for a lower price so that's what I mean by definitely do your research in terms of pricing and as far as the stores also another thing that you want to do your research on is the rewards programs that these stores have a majority of these stores that I did list they do have some type of rewards program for their shoppers if you sign up and become a member for their credit card or whatever you may receive 10% you may receive 20% off of your entire purchase for your first order using your card it just all depends on the type of store so you definitely want to check and see if that option is available during the time that you make your purchase for example I know that Neiman Marcus they had the in circle or the circle or whatever it's called during that time that people signed up for their credit card, they will receive 10% off of their entire purchase. There were no exclusions from what I'm aware of because I did used to work at Neiman Marcus. Um, so pretty much, like I said, if you signed up for this credit card, you got approved, you got 10% off of your entire purchase and you can use that and you can save pretty much. Saks Fifth Avenue, if you sign up for their credit card as well, I believe it was the same thing, but they also have a loyalty program where you don't have to sign up for a credit card but you just receive promotional offers like through email. I'm not sure if they still have that because it's been a while since I've been to Saks, um, but that is something that you definitely want to consider. Netaporter currently does not have a program where if you sign up for a credit card, then you can save because they obviously do not have a credit card, so that's not available. But if you do take a look at the different promotions that they do have running on their site, you can definitely save some money in terms of buying a shoe that you're interested in, but you just have to look at their designer exclusions as well. Another thing that you want to look into or factor into your research when you are buying your first designer item is sales obviously that is my that's my favorite thing y'all i love me a good sale i do not miss out on a good sale y'all i love me a sale nordstrom they have their sales i believe about twice a year it's normally in the winter and in the summer but they always have like a few items in their designer section on their site I am always there okay but what I mean in terms of sales you need to know exactly when these sales start on the store's website or the luxury store's website because essentially with sale items and designer items for that matter they are first come first serve but you also need to factor in because of a particular brand the brand may not want their items to be further reduced on the site so there are some brands that just can't be reduced I still work in retail so I know that for a fact so that is something that the store does have to abide by just to keep good relations with the brand um, but in terms of sales you need to definitely just weigh your options in terms of what you're looking for also another thing that I mean when I say research the stores and their sales is that I'm frequently on Nordstrom even though I work for another retailer I'm frequently on Nordstrom I typically wake up during their sales I wake up probably around 3 a.m. and I'm able to catch some of the best stuff literally if i wake up early nordstrom they will add more items to their website and it's just like continuously they're adding it to the designer sale and then if you're catching it at an early time then you're able to get what you want but if you're waiting until later throughout the day then obviously that stuff that you want it's not going to be available so you definitely do have to 
pretty much learn their pattern. My last thing that I do pretty much when I am interested in a designer item and I'm just almost at the point of making the purchase. To be honest with you guys, I am the cheapest designer buyer. Now that I work in retail and I have this employee discount and whatnot, I do not want to pay full price for an item. I'm not saying that to be funny because I have my employee discount, but I'm saying that because if I didn't have an employee discount, I would still shop around and be the cheapest designer purchaser that you can think of. Like literally, it just I'm just cheap. I don't want to pay full price for a bag or for a shoe if I don't have to, if I can wait a season and then get it, okay? So pretty much what I mean by shop around is you know that you have Neiman Marcus, you have Saks Fifth Avenue, you have Nordstrom, you have Netta Porter, you have Barney's. But you also have to factor in that those are full line retailer stores. Those are full price merchandise stores. So those stores are always going to have full price merchandise until their seasonal sale comes up to get rid of the past season merchandise to bring in new inventory for the current season. Like I said, you have those five, Neiman Marcus, Saks Fifth Avenue, Nordstrom, and Netta Porter. If you did not know this, they also have clearance sensors. So Neiman Marcus has Neiman Marcus last call. Saks Fifth Avenue has Saks Off Fit. Nordstrom has Nordstrom Rack. That's also my favorite store as well, okay? Netta Porter, they have the Outnet as well as they have Ukes. And then Barney's, there's a thing as Barney's Warehouse. I did not know this until I went to an outlet and I was like, okay. Another thing that you have to look into, aside from those five clearance centers that I'm aware of, there's also the Gucci outlet, there's the Saint Laurent outlet, there's a Prada outlet, there's all of these different designer outlet stores that you can go to. It's not going to be like at your normal mall, it's going to be like an, an outlet location with other outlet stores. So that's also something that you have to look into if you're looking for a particular brand like Gucci or Saint Laurent, definitely check out the outlet they are a little bit pricier, but if you're looking for what you're looking for, then you may find them in there at a cheaper price than full price. I brought up the clearance centers because you can actually find a lot at a clearance center. For example, like I said, I used to work at Neiman Marcus. Neiman Marcus, they have Neiman Marcus Last Call. Neiman Marcus Last Call, their stores always used to have shoe events. Shoe events means they get all of these shoes from full line store. They mark them down about 30 to 50 percent off. Sometimes they're even higher, and then they put them out to the public just so that way you can shop. These shoe events, they typically occur in store. You have to go in store to purchase them. They're not going to be found online. So you guys are obviously aware that our example of the day is the Neiman Marcus $675 120mm Soke. Again, four and a half inches patent leather. Another example, we have the exact same shoe, Christian Louboutin Soke's 120mm white iridescent patent leather Soke's. Okay, four millimeter heel about the only thing that is different aside from the color of these shoes is the price okay like i said these ones were 675 dollars from neiman marcus full line store which means it's a full price retailer they only sell full price merchandise unless they are having a sale these ones were priced at 382 dollars from neiman marcus last call i'm not lying to you guys i have the tags still on them because i haven't worn them yet Literally, they are the exact same shoe. I've only worn these in the house to try them on, break them in, but they're the exact same shoe. I paid half the price of these for these, and it's the exact same company. So that's why I said if you are shopping for a particular brand or style of a designer shoe, definitely look at the full line store, but also look at their clearance center as well. But you pretty much have to make the decision on if you want to pay $675 or now $725 for Soakates or if you want to get the exact same shoe for a lower cost. But if it's something that you don't really care about the color, then why not get a shoe that's at a cheaper price? So like I said, that's why you do have to shop around. I'm not saying that you're always going to find the shoe that you're looking for, but what I'm saying is definitely exhaust all options before you do make that decision to buy a designer item or buy your first designer item because like i said when i just graduated from high school i didn't know that they really had outlets and i just thought that the price of the shoe the 675 was what the shoe was always going to cost until i started working in retail and i saw all of these other options open to me so pretty much all of the factors that i did provide to you guys that is everything that i do when i buy 
designer items to this day that is still something that I do so that is something that I do I've been in retail for about five years now so that is something that I do still look into when I'm making a bigger purchase because to be honest it's a lot of money that I don't really want to spend but I spend it because I like the item that was honestly a lot that was a lot of talking I don't know how long this video is gonna be if it's long I'm sorry but overall I do hope you guys like this video definitely let me know if you guys are still interested in this whole luxury designer series of mine that I do want to talk to you guys about because like I said I'm a real cheap designer buyer um, I have a lot of designer items that I I did not pay full price for but again I do hope you guys like this video definitely be sure to give me a thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next one